Hey, what is up, guys? The Goof Gamers here, and today I just wanted to do another redstone contraption, and this is a very evil redstone trap, so let's get started. Alright, so back here, it's just a bunch of wiring, and the cool thing about this trap is that if you flip this lever or give it any output of a unsignal, then the trap will actually turn off even though you will need to reset it anyway. So up there, it says free diamonds, so let me turn the trap back on just to show you guys. So, you know, you this would be in your house or something, or in your evil lair. So you walk through. Oh no, I'm dead. And then all your stuff gets collected, and it then go, uh, flows into this chest, and you collect all the player's loot there. So now I'm going to show you guys how to build it. Hey, what's up, guys? The Goof Gamer is here, and today I just want to show you how to build that evil contraption over there. So we're gonna let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start off. Um, I'm actually gonna make this one above the ground, so you guys can see this. But this would be ground layer. Uh, actually, it would be two down, so it'd be there and there. But I'm not gonna do it like that. So let's just cover up this hole, and I will build it on ground level, so that way you guys can see it better. So first, we're gonna place um, our floor down. So I'm gonna use uh, quartz uh, for the floor, and the floor is actually going to be right there. So this is the floor just carried along, and there it is. So you're going to break these blocks, put a uh, two blocks of redstone right there, and two redstone ore right there. Um, but don't place it on the other redstone ore, otherwise it will light it like that, like I just, just did. So you're going to place it on the redstone box, then you're going to place your two pistons. Oh yeah, sorry about that guys. You actually need to place um, your redstone box after you uh, did the piston. So you're going to do that, then place your two redstone blocks, but actually before you want to do that, you want to put two blocks here and there, and then put your redstone box. Alright, so now that, now that that's grown, you're going to put a redstone repeater there and there with a torch behind it on both sides. And then uh, do a little wiring. This is going to be the uh, off signal. So, you know, this can be off signal. If you flick a lever right here, it will then turn the trap off. But you are going to place a piece of redstone right there uh, into a torch, which is going to go like that. And it will go up like that and give your output right here. And your pistons are going to be uh, right here, I think. But, yeah, they're going to be right here, and it's going to start one away, so it's going to be like that. And I'm actually going to... Yeah, that, actually, that works. So, then you're going to place that block right there for the input, and just lie these down. And then I need to place the pistons because that's where they're supposed to be. Put sticky pistons, it will make it easier. So we're just laying these pistons down and um, so that way once we plug these in it will be all good. Now what you're going to do is you're going to place a repeater on each and put it on three ticks. Or two ticks depending on how you look at it. But three ticks on how I look at it. So then the uh, pistons will be looking out. You're going to do the same thing on this side. Put a piece of redstone, a block, a torch, a block on top, and a output. And then they, uh, um, actually this will be the output again. And then these, out the whole length. And then finally you're going to place the piston, the sticky pistons next to each other, just like that. You can make this uh, however long you want, up to um, 15 blocks, because that's how long redstone can travel. Actually, uh, only 14 pistons you can have on each side, because this counts as one right there. And you're just going to lay your redstone down, you can see that these all open up. Now at the end, uh, you can add something cheesy, like a chest, or you could say free diamond, you free diamond mine, um, any free gold, anything like that. So we're just going to, I'm just going to build a little structure for you guys, 
just like it was before. But actually, the trap is all set, but so they don't get suspicious and they're not like, oh, cool, a redstone blocks and yeah, so let's walk on it. No, no, that does not work, guys. So we are going to put a layer of carpet on it. You're going to need to shift click on both of those and both of those. Uh, the only problem about this trap is you either it either needs to be very dark or actually night out uh, because otherwise the redstone the redstone ore will not get um, turned on and so therefore it will not work. I'm just gonna lay out this like you'll walk up the walk up here and go to the secret thing and then you just put a switch down here or. Uh, your output to one of your devices just to turn it off and then if the block gets pushed out it won't go anyway so let's just do a test to see how this works and um, you're also going to build a pit you can put lava in it um, I'm not going to build it for you guys sorry about that but you guys can build a pit or you can put hoppers at the bottom going into chests or anything like that so right now I'm going to put the time to um, night so that way I can show you it Actually, I'm just going to show you that it doesn't work right here, if I walk. Oh, never mind, yes? Okay. Okay. Never mind. I, I guess I'll, I, I, I guess I'm wrong, guys. Alright, so it works anyway. So, how you're going to reset it is you're going to uh, need to come down. Now you're going to break these four. Take off these. Take everything out. Break these. Uh, break these two things and then uh, those will open again so you can just place your carpet down but you are uh, going to... Uh, I need quartz that was a nice spelling of quartz there alright so right in the, so then you're just gonna do this again you're gonna place your two pistons with the blocks and then your two redstone ores and then your two power blocks again Actually, you need to place your power blocks, then the two reds. Okay. Okay. Never mind. I guess I was right the first time. Alright, so take those redstone blocks out again. Redo that. Put your redstone ore in, then put th these. Yes? Yes? Yes! Okay, that is how you do it, guys. Uh, but I kind of messed it up because I didn't put the box there. So you just put lay these blocks down, and finally put your redstone ore in, and just redo all the shift clicking carpets down, and yeah. You guys can also put like a secret mine, and then if you get the password correct, you know, it doesn't let you die, and then you walk through and you go into your mine and get mining or to seek a chest room, or whatever you want. Alright guys, I hope you liked this video. Sorry for the little bit of confusion in this uh, reloading part. But yeah, I'm just gonna do one more to er, one more go to see how it looks. I'll take I'll put it in F1. And yeah, you fall to your death. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos like this and a lot more redstone contraptions. I know I got very good feedback on the invisible doors, and I probably will for uh, these doors. The 2x3 doors. Alright, I hope you guys just enjoyed, and I hope it helps you out, and I hope you can use it in your own base and have a good time with it and steal all your friend's loot and all his diamonds. Yay, diamonds! Alright guys, I'm going to end the video here, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. League of Gamers, out.